set up the tripod um trying to get it even some reason something's off track here and i can't get it even um i was going to film just a little bit of me cleaning the bathroom because i know you guys want to see me clean a nasty bathroom <laughs> yeah that's what i'm doing light in here today where's the light where's the sun good morning to you or good afternoon or good evening whenever you may be watching this i think i have all the bases covered hello i hope you guys are having a wonderful wednesday i have to think what day is it it's wednesday kennedy is right next door watching home I'm in the bathroom. I just cleaned the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> I woke up and I come to clean the bathroom. What a way to wake up. No, not really. I do try to clean the bathroom every few days. And by cleaning it, I mean like scrubbing the counters and all of that stuff. We do the normal pick the laundry up and put it in the basket and pick up the toilet paper rolls because let me tell you a little bit of little bit of information my clothes baskets did not come with instructions my poor family obviously has never read the instruction manual on how to work a clothes basket let me put this down because let me tell you this thing right here yeah my family they don't know what to do with these clothes go in not beside also the toilet paper rolls yeah they put them beside the little toilet paper holder with a new roll of toilet paper. Why can't you throw the old one out and replace it? So yes, I think I need to go download the instruction manuals for both of these things because my family is lacking in that. All right, so yes, I noticed, sorry about that. There was clothes in the floor, so I decided to come in here and clean. And then I decided to wipe down counters and actually the bathtub and the shower is okay because Craig cleaned those last week. So they're good. All right, but that is how I started the day. And I did wash my face. And now I am trying to put a little bit of coverage, coverage on the face. But let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm out of this. And I knew I was out of this. But you see, I haven't been to the store yet. <laughs> so let me, look, this is actually CoverGirl, I don't know, whatever. It's just this CoverGirl stuff that I use in the summertime because I don't really do much to the face. I put this on, a little bit of powder, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't do any of the concealer or anything like that. I don't like any heavy stuff on my face during the summertime because it's so hot here. And I don't want to be like a Milton uh, Tammy Faye Baker or something to that nature anyways this i have none in here so i've been taking this and kind of scraping like look scraping and getting just a little bit to go on my face is that sad that is sad i think i need to go to the store and get some new foundation actually i need to go ahead and get my 
winter makeup ready. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of sad. Anybody else try to get the last drop? Good to the last drop. All right, let me try to figure something out. Hopefully I can get enough out for a little bit of something for this. So yeah, we'll see. Get in there and play with it. Ponies in the snow? Yeah. This is not actually snow. What is it? Um, this pretend snow. Yes, yeah, pretend snow. Uh oh, he fell. Applejack's buried. She's been in the shower. Hey! I gave you some free cream. Very rarity. Can you make a snowman? Oh my goodness. A snow pony? Look at this one. Oh no! Applejack fell. Oh no! Applejack's stuck in the snow. Make them hair it is. I'm rolling it up in the ball. Guess what time it is. There she goes. <laughs> what are you watching? What are you watching? I hear Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Do, 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 do. The new, the new chipmunks look weird. I don't know, they look like too much like a kid to me. Come on, little poo. Get your blankie. 
time for nap time before church. Gotta take a good nap so you I'm can sleep. No, ma'am, you're not. You gotta be rested so you can go to church so you won't be so stinking bad tonight. I'm not sleeping in here. Uh oh, she's going to sleep, guys. Okay, so I went from having no light this morning to having all of the light right in my eyeball. Yeah. I'm upstairs in the craft room. Kennedy just went down for a nap. Yes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. She still takes naps. She will be four September 7th, and she still takes a good two-hour nap. Sometimes it's two and a half hours. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I am going to um, absolutely miss these days soon because I know naps are going to be coming to an end very soon. Um, it's just how it works. It's just how it works. So anyways, I decided to come up here and um, just chill out for a minute. Just get a little a little mommy mommy time. And um, Oh, I, I was going to come up here and make some uh, cute little things for her pet shops. These are some of her little pet shop. Uh, littlest pet shops. And she just recently started getting into these things. She's seen the cartoon. And I've actually purchased a few of the pet shops for her. But I'm not real fond of the newest uh, pet shops out on the market. The ones where their heads just pop off and you can put their heads back on. And yeah, she loses those. So is that all of the new Littlest Pet Shops? I'm really scared to go buy any more because I think they're all going to be like that. Are they all like that? Can you just pop their heads off? Yeah, because she's just four and she will lose that stuff. And I will suck it up in the vacuum. So we like these. These actually came from Megan and Reagan's old collection. They, Megan was the first collector of um, Lilith's Pet Shops. She had these when she was, how old? She was really young. I can't remember how old she was, but she'll be 17 soon. So yeah, it, it was some years ago. Anyway, she had like boxes and boxes of these things and she, and the two little girls in the neighborhood, they all collected them, and they would play with them. And she would even have my dad, her papa, up at Walmart searching and digging through all of the Littlest Pet Shops to make sure she didn't have any of the ones. He would literally have to hold her up so she could just dig through them. And, um, yeah, we had a lot. I don't really know where they all went, but we do have a few left. Um, this is just five. I know there's a few more downstairs, but... I really wish we had all the other ones because I heard some of these are worth some money. And I know we had some of those that were worth the money. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to make some little hair bows and some little clothes for Kennedy's Littlest Pet Shops. And um, surprise her. So that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully just get a little quiet, crafty time. Quiet, crafty time. So, yeah, these are the ones that we like. See, they got the little bobble head, but the, the heads don't pop off. This is cute. I don't, I don't, I think this is a dog. Is that cute? Look at the little bobble head. Boop, boop. And then we got this little hamster. He's my favorite. Or she. I don't really know if it's a he or a she. Megan says if they have eyelashes, they're girls. And if they don't, they're boys. And then some of them have, like, we, like different eyes. You see the little stars or little uh whatever that is little i don't know uh star star is that what i said stars yeah but anyways that's what i'm up here doing just taking a little mommy time just a mommy break i wanted to thank all of you guys for your comments this week on monday's vlog and just wanted to say how much we love you guys and vlogs will be up monday wednesdays and fridays I always mean to put that in the little descriptions area, but I forget Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, I always forget in like any tutorial videos that I post, like bow alongs and whatever craft things, if you make any of the items from any of the tutorials, go on Instagram and tag me, Mommy Crafts a Lot, hashtag, hashtag, whatever the hashtag is. Um, mommy craft slots so I can see them and then that way um, I usually go on Instagram more than anything else and if you tag me on there I'm usually going to see it and then I can give you some love and I'll follow you back I always try to follow everyone back except except 
the private accounts and um, the accounts that really don't have like any photos or anything attached to it because I'm always like I don't want y'all to think I'm like a creepster or something especially if you're private I don't want to request and they'll be like what deny so no I'm not being creepy but if you want me to follow you back just send me a message I saw someone's message today it was from a couple of weeks ago sorry but I did follow you back so yeah just let me know and I'll follow you back I have no problem doing that I like to see all of your uh your photos and your videos and all that stuff so yeah mommy crafts on mommy crafts a lot on Instagram all right guys but I guess that's how I'm going to end today's vlog up here in the craft room. Maybe I'll share if I uh, make something worth sharing. I'll share with you before I edit the video and get it uploaded for today because we have to go to church in just a little bit. And they're wanting uh, to eat dinner at church, but they're having spaghetti. And I'm not a spaghetti fan. I've just never really been a pasta fan, Italian fan, whatever. And spaghetti, I just feel is like, it's just one of those meals where just, it doesn't taste the same. Everybody's spaghetti does not taste the same. And some people just throw like anything in their spaghetti. So I'm always really leery of uh, eating someone else's spaghetti. My mom makes great spaghetti. I love my mom's spaghetti. But most, um, most in here down in here in here in the south down here in the south they like to throw like uh tons of sugar in their spaghetti sauce i don't like spaghetti sauce with sugar in it i don't like my sweets mixed with my savories if that makes any sense like i will not eat the jippy cornbread mix i like regular cornbread i don't want it sweet i just want it regular because i like to eat peas and cornbread and i don't want my peas to taste sweet Urgh. Uh, I guess the only exception would probably be chicken and waffles, but then again, that's like two separate things, chicken and then waffles, but it's also combined, but that's like the only thing that I do like, like sweet and savory chicken and waffles. I just don't want sugar in my cornbread. I don't want sugar in my spaghetti sauce. I just don't want sugar where it's supposed to be salty. Does that make sense? Anyways, there I'm spaghetti, and I guess we're gonna go eat spaghetti, and I'm gonna have a salad. Okay, so I did not get uh, very much accomplished because of the trap, the trap that is my iPhone. Yes, guys, I got on my iPhone and started searching, and one search led to another, and you know how it ends up. But I did create this cute little bow look at the little black bow oh she's such a cute little hamster and she's got a skirt on this frilly uh black skirt and actually it can just pop on and pop off and there's actually a wire in here and i just glued it over the wire and you can unbend it and then bend it according to the pet that is wearing it see little dome right there anyways that's what I made I made a little skirt for this little hamster and then she's wearing that cute little bow and then I also made a cute little bow for this little pet shop this is a puppy I believe look a little bobblehead all right but that's all I got accomplished I did uh, go through and find some more trims this is the stuff that I made uh, the little skirt with it's a trim I just clipped off a little piece and put the wire in the middle right there on that line and then folded it over and then it makes it really frilly anyways I'm gonna play around with um, some more trims and stuff and see what other cuties I can make but yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the editing program and get today's vlog up and we will see you guys on Friday okay what is that is it like crayon or a pen looks like crayon who knows Anyway, so I was about to end the vlog, and then I looked over in the corner, right there, yes, do you see all that, do you see it, do you see it, all those are scraps of ribbon, and they're not really scraps of ribbon, they're like yard pieces, some are longer than a yard, it's just stuff that was left on a roll of ribbon and it got unrolled and yeah I put it over there anyways uh, that's just one of the many piles of scraps that will be going on going down in this room here I'm trying to organize I know I know that's like 
Ugh, I don't, me trying to organize is just crazy. So, that, all of that right there just came from one of these right here. And I'm not even talking about one whole cabinet. It just came from one drawer. One drawer. That's one drawer's worth. So you can just imagine how much is going to be because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of the bins. That's just the bins. I also have ribbon in this closet up here and I have ribbon in the closet downstairs that are still in boxes that I really don't take out because I don't really use it. Um, so yeah, but what I've been trying to do to the bins in here, I've been trying to be a little more organized. Yeah. Um, and most of the ribbon up here is like ribbon that I work with or that I attempt to work with. And then I just get tired of it being on my table and I just put it aside. I don't want to see it. But when I do that, it just means that it just gets shoved in there. It's not rolled back up. It's not tag tagged. It's not tacked down. Um, so it's just in a state of chaos like those scraps. So that's what I did the other day. I went through one of these, just one of these so far, and rolled everything back up, put a little piece of tape at the end of it, or a rubber band or whatever, made sure that um, I put some prints up there, and I put like dots and stripes, and then everything else down there. I'm wanting to come up with a different solution for this. Right now, I just have these clear bins. Like I said, the other stuff is stored in, in my closets. Um, but I'm really weird. I don't really want another thing on my wall like a rack where I could just put the spools up there because when I did that, the ribbon would kind of hang down and that drove me crazy. I don't want to see it all hanging down. I just, I really don't want to see my ribbon, but I want to see my ribbon. I don't want everybody else to see my ribbon. I would love to be like, you know, like a multi-millionaire where I could have just the house full of like ribbon storage and there would be shelves on the wall and everything and I could just walk in this house by myself and look and see what I needed. But since I'm not rich, you know, I just really would like to put it in a closet somewhere where I could just shut the door, but I also want it organized. Um, yeah, that makes no sense. I know, I know. I, I told you, I don't make sense. But right now, this is a crazy mess. And I have not even begun to put up the latest rounds of ribbon that I have received from my lovely, lovely ribbon pals because I just don't have room for it. I, I'm going to have to go and buy some more bins, even though I don't want any more bins. Do you guys have any suggestions for this crazy girl on how to store her ribbon? How to store her ribbon that can stay, uh, well, I would say clutter free, but um, I would like to see, like, if I want to make a ribbon with pony prints and chevron this and that I would like to go and be able to look and find those ribbons but I don't want to see the ribbons all the time yeah so if you have any suggestions I know you're like what <laughs> um yeah leave them down below 